Hey, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a little tabletop review of the Spandau Arms Premier Target. So starting off, you get this nice hard plastic case. Now this isn't like a TSA compliant case, but it's still a pretty nice case to take it to the range in. It's got four little latches on it. Open it up, you can see you got nice foam in here on this side with a hard plastic molding on this side. You've got your instruction manual, all that stuff. You've got your chokes, and we'll go over those in a minute. And your gun is in two pieces in here, of course, and it comes in these nice little, I almost call them crown roll style bags. All right, we'll go ahead and get the barrels out here. Now this one is a 28 inch barrel with a three inch chamber on it. And you have the vent rib on top with a brass bead, doesn't have a mid bead or anything. And good looking Turkish walnut, real nice checkering in it. Go ahead and get this four end off. Now it does include five chokes. It has a full and improved modified, a modified, an improved cylinder, and a skeet cylinder. So you got a lot of selections there on the chokes. All right, we'll go ahead and get this put together real quick. Four and on. You can see, good looking gun. Has our Spandau logo here on the side in gold. Has a gold inlay there on the bottom, the stainless, and it has Spandau Premier Tart or Premier Field engraved in it. Just all in all, good looking gun. Now, on your choices for your safety, you have over and under so you can decide which one fires first. And then you have safe fire, of course. And this one does have ejectors in it. Uh, I guess you gotta pull the trigger first. And the trigger on this one, I'll try to show you, is very nice, short, and crisp. And it's unsafe, so it's not gonna pull. And on my scale, it was breaking at just over five pounds. But there's your ejectors. As far as break out, the brake action on it, it's pretty smooth, pretty comfortable, and it really fits me really well. My son has a trap gun that has the adjustable comb, adjustable stock, the high rib and all that. I really don't need all that for me because I'm just doing it just kind of for fun. So this one's a real nice fit for me. I had no trouble with it out of the box. It swings really well. Just really well-made shotgun. I like the way it's, you know, weight. I like the weight of it. I like the barreling. Everything on it's just pretty good. Now I will put a link right up over here somewhere and that'll be to the video of it on the range so you can see it in action. But out of all the rounds I put through it, probably a couple hundred now, I had zero malfunctions, zero issues, nothing getting stuck. No issues at all really, so can't really complain about anything about it. Just all in all, pretty nice shotgun. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new here and think of earning it, consider subscribing. And if you think somebody else will enjoy it, share it out. That helps more than anything. We'll see you on the next one.